Welcome to the second week, day two, of how to create effective lifestyle posts to get people begging to join you. And I'm so excited to bring this to you this week because last week we set up our Facebook profile and that training has been recorded and uploaded into the guide section of Debbie's MLSP affiliate study group. And so that's where you'll find the recording from last week. This mm -hmm. week I will be recording. And again, when we're finished, I will upload this recording also in the guide section. So every day MLSP has a daily wake up call. And I really, I was on the call today and I really just wanted to share uh, just for a second um, what was shared with me because you know, how do you find people, right? We're, we're always, you know, think that we have to go find the people, like where is our people at? And really and truly what was shared today on the wake up call, man, it just makes so much sense. So I just wanted to share this. In Facebook groups, on Facebook pages, go to those groups where you enjoy being. So it's a little different, right? Go to the groups where uh, maybe they're talking about cooking or, uh, you know, whatever it is, right? Fishing or go to those groups where you enjoy hanging out, not necessarily where your ideal client might be hanging out. And with that kind of shift in your mindset, right? Um, it was just, it's where your people are. They are there, but you're not there to look for them. You're there to just enjoy yourself with your interests. And along the way, that's when you get to know it. You know, you get to know them, right? So that's what the daily wake up call is about today. All of those wake up calls are actually also recorded in uh, the MLSP VIP group. So I just wanted to put a shout out to our daily wake up call every day. It, it just seems like they just get better and better. So what Facebook group speaks to you? Uh, maybe just pick two or three and share with the audience there. What do you want people to know about you? Not necessarily what do you think they want to know about you, but what do you want to share with them? It's a little, again, a shift of um, thinking about this. And go your own way. Make your own trail, right? And those that are destined to follow you will because they enjoy you, the real you, the authentic you. So if that makes sense, we will continue. So let's talk lifestyle posts. I, I love day two of the uh, Posting for Profits Challenge <clears throat> because you have to post something, right? And posting consistently, bringing your lifestyle into the mix helps people to get to know you, like you and trust you, you've heard that, but it also gets a little deeper where you feel like you are sharing uh, yourself. Not necessarily like every single post is done inside your house. So you have to kind of Put the network marketing and put the marketing cap on and think about what will, what am I doing today, right? Uh, well, I'm going to go out into the yard and pull some weeds. So I think I'll take my camera with me and post a couple of selfies, right? While I'm out there doing what I'm going to do anyway, right? So you're bringing um, the world with you as you go. I don't, I'm not really sure how to say that any better, but um, going to the store. So I have a whole list of things that um, your lifestyle. So just think about that. So it's called really lifestyle marketing. And what do you want to share? You want to share your life. See what you do. Like, so think about your day. Think about yesterday. Like, what did you do yesterday that maybe you could share about? And it really, it really does help people to uh, like you and trust you. So uh, what do you do when you're not working on your business? What do you do, right? 
the world really wants to know that. <laughs> <laughs> Just like things that happen in your day. So you turn it into a lifestyle post. Even opening up the fridge and deciding what's for supper tonight. Something as simple as that can make a great post. You are going to get a lot of engagement because people want to give you their opinion. If they're looking at a picture of your refrigerator open full of food, they're going to help you. They'll help you. <laughs> so just, you know, take a selfie in front of the fridge. Say something about it. Mention, be sure to mention you know, what it means to you. Um, if you're going to maybe get a new pair of shoes, like why are you getting a new pair of shoes? So there's so, so many ideas. And we'll look at some samples on Facebook of people that have done these lifestyle posts. Um, you're in a new town person, you know, you, you're exploring a new town. You're trying to get a job. Bring all of these things into your social media right? Engagement post. Um, and Erin did one on day two posting for profits that I thought she had a black jacket and a white jacket and she took a selfie of herself holding both jackets, right? And she asked her audience on her Facebook, which one? Help me pick one, right? So you could do that with like anything, right? Regular bananas or organic bananas. It, the sky's the limit as to how many lifestyle posts you can do. And I would say my rule of thumb is 80-20 on the lifestyle post. 80% bring people into your world. Bring people, show people who you are, what you're up to. When you're not working on your business, what are you doing, right? The 20%, yeah, you're going to promote some things. And um, there's other kinds of posts that you do. But really the lifestyle day to I think um, meant the most to me. You maybe are traveling, right? And hotel, uh, you're maybe go grab a, a laptop and your phone and sit by the pool, take a picture. People are going to want what you have when you start showing up like that. Maybe you go to the store, again, picking bananas. You're going to the laundromat or the dry cleaner. Uh, during the day on a Tuesday. So here's the quote. So grateful. I can go grocery shopping on a Tuesday afternoon where the crowds are less because I have my own home business, right? So you're bringing, you're using these things to uh, help people to understand what you're doing. And people will want to join you because they want your life. So take that opportunity, and uh, once you start thinking in that way, I think that they ideas come faster and quicker to uh, future posts that you want to do. You want to promote the biz, but mix it up with lifestyle posts. Share your world with your audience. And even if you don't have a life, you know, if you don't have a life, and you don't share that, who's going to want to join you in business? Who's going to want to join you? You have to consider this. If you go to a Facebook profile, and we set up our Facebook profile last week, but if you go to somebody's profile and all that's on their profile is buy my stuff, here it is, sale today, it comes in purple, if that's all you see on their timeline, it, it almost repels people faster than anything. So show you loving life. And there's so many ideas. I uh, want to just go through a couple of these. Um, we'll go to Erin's Facebook post. Uh, Facebook, But here is um, Roxanne. Everybody knows Roxanne. Roxanne, I think, is the queen of <gasps> lifestyle posts, right? I, I'm sure she has a timer on her camera. Can you see Roxanne, Kristen? Yep, yes, okay. I can. So I think she probably uh, has a timer on her camera. She just, you know, her phone just kind of sets it up, sets the timer, and then does the pose. Uh, that's probably how I would do it. I don't really, 
I have a husband, but I I can take a better picture than he can. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But don't be distracted. You know, she just has a message. She, she just has a message. Maybe, maybe she read that along the way somewhere. Maybe she read that on another post and she just made it her own, right? Um, I love this one. I want to use this one. So get ideas from the leaders and how they post these lifestyle um, posts, but make it your own, right? Is it just me or does the peppery sense of lucid make everything better, right? But in all seriousness, I gave myself a time out today. So instantly people are going to know she has a business that she's working from home. Um, so you're you're not you're saying that, but you're not saying that. Does that make sense? You're sharing mm -hmm. um, as mompreneurs taking time off midday ourselves, you know, just a little outing. So you could definitely do that with kind of anything. And I thought, well, I'll just bring people out to my garden <coughs> where I have some rosemary growing, right? And so, um, or any kind of herb. Uh, definitely is, that's a great, that is a great uh, lifestyle post. So Roxanne Lynch, she has uh, a lot of, and, and pretty much all her stuff is lifestyle posts. I'm still here. She's getting a lot of engagement, as you can tell, 41 comments, 147 likes, just because I'm still here, road trip. This is what I'm doing. I pause, you know, my social for just a few days. Instantly, you know, she, you know all about her, right? You like her because she takes time for her family. She's taking time uh, for herself. She's taking time away from her business for her family. You know, it, she is a well-rounded marketer. So that is a great sample of that. And no matter what, get up, get dressed, show up, and never give up, right? So always be positive in all your posts. Um, so I think Roxanne is the queen of lifestyle posts. Uh, you can grab her name and just check out what she does. But every day she has an amazing post. And then always there's Erin. Erin uh, actually is the one that did the Posting for Profits training. And um, she always has, you know, just her, right? Sitting outside in the yard, hair is all messed up. She's got her glasses on. Um, and just sharing what somebody told her. So simple, right? I see on uh, Facebook, it seems like all there is is either product posts or quote, quote posts. Seems like there's so many quotes. Or happy Monday, happy Tuesday, happy Wednesday. That's all there is. And you have to, if you're going to be in this business, guys, you got to stand out from the crowd. Well, let me tell you how. You have got to stand out and stop the scroll, is what they say. So here are some other ideas that I uh, wrote down and really, I just wrote these down. So I want you to write down anything that comes to your mind um, and I'd love for you to share those. Um. All right, so sharing your life, like at home, at the grocery store, taking a walk, taking uh, um, for lifestyle posts. You yourself, you do a lot at the beach. I love that. Um, but there's also like at the grocery store, taking a walk, taking your pup to the vet, right? Taking a cat to the vet, having lunch with a friend, right? Um, having lunch with a husband, having lunch, <laughs> going to the <laughs> dentist, going to the dentist. That's a good one. Uh, while you're in the car on the way somewhere, going home from somewhere, uh, on a bus in a train, on a plane. I mean, there's just so many ideas. Um, babysitting kids, babysitting grandkids, 
while everybody else is working. How, um, how your business has enhanced your life, but you got to show yourself doing the lifestyle, right? You can say all day long, hey, join a, you know, start a day business, start a home business, and you're going to have a great life. But if you don't ever show them what the life is looking like, they don't know. Like, you've got to do the lifestyle post, as I said earlier, should be 80% of your timeline. I believe that. And I know, uh, Lady Jean, you're really good at bringing people into your life and just really being you and being yourself and being vulnerable. Oh my gosh. And um, I, I need to get better at it. I know I need to get better at it. And the challenge is for me is Wi-Fi. I have a big Wi-Fi challenge in out in the country here. And so if you'll notice several of what I've been doing lately is actually I'm just recording a video and then uploading it to Facebook. But here your he lifestyle folks, Debbie. I got Wi-Fi problem here in the country. Like, hell, man, how, how you solve the problem with your Wi-Fi in your country? But you're still running your business. You yeah. got all these problems, but look at me. I'm still running my business, you know? Get, <laughs> yes. Get your bow. Here right. you go. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And this is an excellent bow. People love that because there are a lot of people who got Wi-Fi problems. That's right. And they think they cannot run the business because they're going to have Wi-Fi. Proof positive. It doesn't matter. Proof positive. Yeah. So we talked about all those ideas. So think about um, your day. Think about your day and put that marketing path on, you know, and those ideas, you know, to opening up the refrigerator like Aaron did on the training, opening up the refrigerator and just thinking, Facebook post. Right. So, um, so anything, uh, so here's my little take on this too. I want you to write down five things. Okay. I want you to pretend that you have five buckets. Okay. You have five buckets. So I pretty much post about the same five kinds of things. All right. So it's like people know what to expect when they come to my timeline. First thing I'm going to do is I'm always going to uh, share about my birds. You'll, you're going to see angel. That's my bucket number one. Bucket number two is my gardening. I'm going to bring people out to my garden with me. And so bucket number two is gardening. Bucket number three for me, I would think, would be cooking, uh, you know, the foods that I bring in from the garden. So healthy cooking, um, the fact that I do cook, and we really never go out to eat. Of course, there's nothing uh, around us to go out to eat, so, so we don't have a choice. We have to cook. <laughs> All right, so that's the three buckets. The fourth bucket would be tips, tools um, on how I'm growing my homemade business or my home home business, right? And then I would think the fifth one would just be music, you know, things like music. Um, Gudrun knows I've started, um, I'm going to learn how to play the, uh, this flute. So this is made by the uh, Indians. So I'm going to start doing a little bit of uh, relaxing flip music. Very excited. So those are my five buckets. So what are your five buckets? And you really want to just stay in. You don't want to be like all over the place. You want five buckets, three to five buckets. If you only have three right now, that's okay. But you want to make it so when people come to your Facebook timeline, you're talking about these certain items. You know, they know they can come to your time to your Facebook and learn more about you know these items, right? So that's that's the book, and that's um, pretty much 
everything that Aaron shared uh, as far as the um, the lifestyle post, which I feel hands down needs to be, you know, a good 75 to 80 percent of everything you post. One to two posts a day, max. The power hour. Okay, Kirsten, I'm not really sure. Gudrun, I posted yes or last week my power hour. What I do prior to my first post. I engage on my timeline. I engage in my story. I go into Messenger. I wish people a great day, right? Ask them what they're up to. So Messenger. Uh, so timeline, stories, Messenger, and then I go into a group and see what's going on there. We talked about groups also on the recording today. Uh, good and then um, the fifth one really is about going back to the timeline for just a few more minutes, then doing your post. It's hard, I know, you wanna make the post. You don't wanna do all that before, but it really does make a difference warming up the algorithm and um, before you do your post. So I have three steps. Uh, I read the first three last week. Um, did you get a chance to watch last week's recording, Gudrun? Yeah, 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 yeah. The psychology of selling. Uh, I did steps one, two, and three. And today I'm going to do step four, five, and six. And I just, I really love this psychology of selling. And the fourth one is, it's about them, not you. Yeah. I once had a boss that used to say, prospects listen to one radio station, and that one radio station is WIIFM. So now you know what WIIFM stands for, what's in it for me. So everything you do, besides going into the group, that's for you. We talked about that, right? Um, you want to go into Facebook groups for your interest, not theirs. But when you speak, when you share things, when you share lifestyles, you're doing it for, for them, right? What's in it for them? Me. Psychology of selling step five is step, this is hard to do, step into their shoes for just a moment. Some real powerful data has shown that the top performers are much more effective at taking the perspectives of their buyers. At the last time you really thought about the experience your buyer goes through when talking to you, what about then when they talk to your competitors? Mm, so powerful. And, uh, I have an example of that. I I just wanted to see, right? I've been in Modere for three years. Um, everybody's been telling me how amazing my right? you got it. The products are outstanding. The service. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I I placed an order, and I am still living the nightmare. So, just know. I, I don't think the lady that I joined has any idea how miserable the customer service was or the, the steps in going through it. And I probably shouldn't have named the name, but it's a very powerful name. It's a very well-known company. And I just wanted to see what have they got that I don't got, right? And uh, I'm, I'm good where I'm at. I'm absolutely good on that. So I, you just got to go, not that I'm telling you to test the waters or go join a bunch of companies, but know what your customers are going through when here's the link to order. What do they have to do now? You should know what that is, right? You should walk them through it. Just like for MLSP, right? <laughs> Gudrun and I learned a hard lesson not a few days ago. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I made the same mistake, but somehow somebody she enrolled ended up under me. Right? So 
that part of the business is as important as knowing what's in the product, what the products can do as far as everything else. So that's what I'm gonna say about that. And the psychology of selling number six is create value through questions. If you've ever watched the show, The Sopranos, then you remember those conversations between Tony Soprano and his psychologist, Tony. Um, okay, so it says, did you ever notice how the psychologist never proposes a solution for Tony's problem? He never would do that. He would never advise. He never uh, told him what to do next. He listened. And he allowed Tony to come up with his answer, his solution. And there are a certain question, you know, certain questions that will keep, get people to resolution and having it be their idea. And so we're going to touch on that a little bit more next week. I'm super excited about that. All right. So. Any questions, you guys? Yeah, I would like to work on more how to question people. I'm looking forward to getting smell. So, because yeah. I'm, I think like sometimes I'm stuck. You know, like people ask me, "So where are you from? I'm from here. Where are you from?" And can that make you know end of conversation sometimes? And and I think I'm I'm kind of blocking people away with that. So that 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 biggie. So, um, great question. I think that the top, you know, again, top five, I always, I don't know, fives are my number. <clears throat> I look at, uh, and, and Aaron really kind of hits the head on this one. You look at them on their, you check out their Facebook profile, right? Yeah. And um, maybe we can bring up somebody and uh, do that. Oh, we looked at some of, uh, here's the name, Gudrun, Roxanne Lynch. She's amazing. Yeah. She is amazing at lifestyle posts. So I suggested, you know, check her out. Okay. She has a public uh, profile and everything. So, um, but let's go to uh, just a friend. Let's see. We'll just pick one. Grateful for growing. So, Look at the profile, look at the picture, right? Great image here, smiling. I'm looking at her, I'm thinking 35. I'm also wondering, does she have kids or grandkids? Kids probably, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Her intro says, I help busy professionals to feel more confident in maintaining their energy and discovering wellness. So I'm looking at this profile like I want you to make friends, send friend requests, receive friend requests, accept friend requests. But I want you to do this little method first. You look at their cover. So I'm thinking she is into, uh, there's a company that sells the indoor plant things. What is that? I'm trying to remember what the name of the company that does that. I bet you that's who she's with. So instantly, are they a network marketer? Are they not a network marketer? Okay, so first question out of the box. And then what are they saying about themselves? Helps busy professionals, more confident, energy, and wellness. Okay, so she's obviously in a health and wellness uh, business. And then I always Scroll down, look at her hobby, fitness, traveling, spinning, cooking, indoor gardening, eating. So that's her uh, post here. Now, what one thing I don't know is one of the top five is what is her location? We don't know. How do we find out what her location is? We asked her. And then what I do is on the location, number one is I figure out some things I have in common with that location. 
so let's just say she's from um, Miami, Florida. Oh my gosh, I grew up in Miami, you know, so you want to just find stuff in common with them as fast as you can and mm -hmm. then ask the next question, including the answer to the question that you're about to ask them. How long have you lived there? I lived in Miami for over 25 years, okay? So you always answer the question, you ask it, then answer, then wait, then wait for them to um, answer, okay? So location, the second, the second bucket of questions has to do with family, okay? So you can talk about mutual friends. But I like to just include, while I'm on the subject of location, I really like to include, is your family nearby? You know, that was the reason I moved out of Miami myself, is my family moved to Texas, so I followed them along. But is your family nearby? When I moved to Florida. Exactly. Kirsten, <laughs> exactly. So people love to share about where they're at, how long they've been there, and about their family, right? There's always a story with the family. So next bucket of things to ask and talk about is what do they do? What do you do for a living? That is a perfectly okay question to ask. What do you do for a living? If you were at a party, you would ask that question, no doubt, right? And then there's a whole bunch of questions that you can ask that come after that one. <laughs> so, Kirsten, what do you, what do you do for a living? <laughs> I'm doing a really good job of being unemployed right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was unemployed once. <laughs> Oh, me too. <laughs> we all in there. <laughs> we all been there, right? Yeah, we all been there. But let's just say you um you run a storage facility, didn't you? That one yeah, time. I did do that. So that was the last job I had before I left Maine. So that could be like when you're when you're starting conversations with people right now today. You know, you're just you're in transition. Uh, you know, you could just say that real quick. I'm yeah. currently in transition. I used to manage, ooh, manage a storage facility. Sounds much more professional, right? Yes. Okay. There's actually but six I look, of them. I, I, look, <laughs> I look stuck in MLSB. Can you not say you're self-employed already? I look oh. with MLSB. Of course you could. You're already, you're already working on you. You're working on your own business. You're self-employed. You, you, you know. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. You could. You could no do all that. Yeah. How much money you make or whatever, but you, you know, you say I'm an entrepreneur, online entrepreneur. I'm running the online space. I'm, you know, getting into the groove of the online spirit. I'm hooking up with different people. I get to know the feel. I'm tasting the walker. I don't know. You know. <laughs> Yeah. I've just discovered this amazing educational platform. I'm sucking it up. I'm just like, my brain is just growing. It's just amazing how great life is. Hmm? Well, I used yeah. to be unemployed. I was so unhappy. And look at me now. I'm happy at home with my kids. I learn a lot of new stuff. I love the online space, man. You should try it. Yeah. <laughs> I think your excitement alone will get people to say yes. <laughs> yeah. So here's a little secret. When you get to that point and you don't, you just, man, for the life of you, you don't know what to ask next. Do this. Work every time. Okay? Hey, uh, enjoy getting to know you a little bit. Would love to know more right now. I've got to jump off. I've got uh, I've got a team of ladies that is waiting me for. Uh, I'm going to coach them or 
whatever you're going to do, whatever you're going to say, right? And uh, can we can we chat tonight? Awesome. Yeah, yeah does that makes sense. So yeah. you're acting like you're busy. They don't know you're about to go sit out and drink a cup of coffee. They have no idea, right? Yeah. All I'm saying is, you take the reins. You're in charge, always. No matter who starts the conversation, you be the one that's. Uh, if you know, if you're on a roll, right? You're getting uh, from you're getting to know them really good on Messenger, and but you just come to that point, and we all have that. You know, we all come to that point where like I don't know what to say. <laughs> Hmm. Anyway, and you feel like you haven't quite built the rapport to maybe ask it or invite them into your business. You're, you're just not quite there yet. You probably just, you know, you just need a few more questions, right? And then you can you can do that. Listen, up. I've got to jump right now. Can we continue the conversation here in a little bit? Uh, got to go do this, you know. And just take the take the reins and go go do something else. And come back to it, because I found that when I come back to it, they have had an opportunity to go check my Facebook profile out, and now they know what I do. Make sense? Mm -hmm. and, ah, it works every time. All right, guys. Congrats to Kirsten. She has won her uh, membership paid for next month. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> awesome. Well done. We'll, we'll work out the financial details uh, between us. But, man, thank you for joining me today. Again. Sorry, I was like, next time I know it's eight o'clock. I checked five times. I swear to God. I went online, <laughs> took the timing to check at nine o'clock. I checked another one, nine o'clock. I don't know why. I don't know which time I'm meant to be checking. It's British summer time. So what, I don't know. So, I can show you the screenshot if you can't believe me. No, I do believe you. So 2 o'clock Central Time is 3 o'clock Eastern Time. Is yeah, yeah, eight, no, I eight check eight both. Your time, 8 o'clock. Yeah, but it showed me 9 o'clock. I book, I book Eastern Time and Central Time, your thing, and both time it showed me 9 o'clock. So next time I'm on, on, on time, on the dock. I'm too early next time. You watch me. I'm waking at seven o'clock. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Set an alarm. Maybe that'll make yeah, it easier. Yeah, it'll be an hour early. All right. Yeah. So Just next to make week, sure. <laughs> next week, talking about next week, next Tuesday at two Central, eight UK time. How to create? And you're gonna love this. How to create product posts without being spammy that gets people. Oh ask you about your product. Can't wait to talk about that then. We're going to dive into a little bit more uh, posts and then how to start those conversations just like we've been talking about now. And um, I want to, I'm going to do a post in the group about the tools of the trade that I use. I use Calendly to set up the call. Um, and I'm going to do a little, a little video on how I use Calendly. Gudrun uses Calendly. We love Calendly. Um, what is it? Calendly. Calendly. And it's for free. Yeah, it's free. So what it is, Kirsten, is let's just say that you have somebody interested in what you do. Okay? And uh, they and you say, well, yeah, let's, let's get on a call later. Great. How free? No, three won't work. How about seven? No, I, I got something at seven. How about two tomorrow? No, man, I got something at two. And you're just going back and forth. This is a little link that um, you can just send them. <laughs> they pick the time and then it'll send them a little reminder. <laughs> I mean, it's just yeah. sweet. And uh, the book for Nick, it can work the time scroll as well. It so does. I'll send it to you and it'll well. show you yeah. on your time. Thanks. Yeah. Goodness, it does. <laughs> yeah, this is really, that's why I love it because. Yeah. yeah, can this wouldn't happen like I'm too late or, you know? And the other thing it does is you can actually put in there some questions. Let's just mm -hmm. say that somebody's interested in your weight loss product. You can ask them questions that will help you to know exactly how to help them, right? What have you tried before? How long did you, how long ago did you try it? 
what was the result, right? So those kinds of questions will help you. Uh, so that's all included in Calendly for free. Uh, the second tool I use is Zoom. We're on a Zoom call now. I Zoom call everybody I talk to. When, uh, when they book the appointment to have the chat, uh, we're on Zoom, period, hand down. If they want to grow an online business, they got to show up and show me their face. And if they don't, I'm not interested in working with them. They got to show up, right? You got to show up to do this stuff. And um, you got to get past all your fears and all your worries. And then the third tool that I use is AWeber. And I absolutely hands down love AWeber. Do you have AWeber, Gudrun? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I weekly, I think all y'all did in my newsletter, just a little, um, I try to include, you know, a little bit of um, value, a little bit of tips and tricks and, or just share a little bit of story and, and then always like at the end, just invite them to the next greatest thing, usually the Wednesday night webinar or uh, a little free training or I did, you know, lately I've been promoting this, you know, so I love AWeber and AWeber automatically connects to an LFP. So it's all under one roof. Like your whole business is under one roof. And that's what I love about MLSP more than anything is we got the funnels now, we've got the business center, we've got OKUs of training to share out. Um, and so it, it's been a total game changer for me. And so I'm- I love it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm good where I'm at. I'm good where I'm at. So uh, I'm going to be live Saturday with good, or this Saturday, Gudrun, or next Saturday? No, no, no. We're going to record on Friday. No, we're recording we're on Friday. We're going to be on the week after. Yeah, we're going to record it. And then you're going to be on the week after. Yeah. The week after. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so um, I, I can never know when people have time, so I contact them and get a book and can I record and can I have like, you know, so I have every Saturday covered because there were moments where I didn't know if I have someone and if I go have too many, you know what I mean. I want to have, because this is something, you know, consistency and I don't want to break the Saturday, you know what I mean? I mean, I think it's an excellent idea. Not only are you sharing what we're talking about to your audience but that person's also sharing it to their audience right yeah and, and what, what i love why i'm doing it because everyone has a different story yeah and everyone so the, has first, the first question she asks is what do you do and why <laughs> that's the first question <laughs> it makes you uh sit up and take notice for sure what do you do and why <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me. Congrats, Kirsten. And um, we'll talk about that, I will uh, edit this a little bit and uh, upload it into the Facebook group under the guide section for for week number two. Can't wait for week number three. And um, mm -hmm. and thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to this. So let's uh, all smile and our take our picture. <laughs> My hair looks crazy. It no, look you look beautiful. You were smiling. You're beautiful. I want more and more people here. So if you have any affiliates with MLSB, get them over here. Okay. okay I tried to thank you again. You're I tried to invite so into your thank group. You. I didn't work. It didn't show up a name. I don't know why. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about like, oh, I feel like a... Bye-bye.